In this video, we'll explore the essential steps and techniques for successfully growing green onions in your garden or containers. Green onions, also known as scallions or spring onions, are versatile and easy to grow, making them a popular choice for home gardeners. Whether you're a beginner or experienced gardener, understanding the proper planting methods is crucial for ensuring a bountiful harvest of fresh, flavorful green onions. Green onions, scientifically known as Allium fistulosum, belong to the Allium genus, which includes garlic, onions, and leeks. They are characterized by long slender stalks with mild flavored bulbs and hollow leaves. Green onions are rich in vitamins A, C, and K, as well as folate and fiber, making them a nutritious addition to any diet. These versatile vegetables are commonly used in various culinary dishes, adding a mild onion flavor and vibrant color. They can be chopped and used raw in salads, sandwiches, and garnishes, or cooked in stir fries, soups, and other cooked dishes. Green onions are well suited for both outdoor garden beds and containers, making them ideal for gardeners with limited space. Understanding the growth requirements and planting techniques is essential for cultivating healthy and productive green onion plants. To ensure the optimal growth and development of green onions, it's crucial to select an appropriate planting location. Ideally, choose a spot that receives full sunlight for a minimum of six hours per day. Sunlight is essential for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy, fueling their growth and development. Green onions also prefer well-drained soil with a pH range between 6.0 and 7.5. Soil pH affects nutrient availability to plants and maintaining the pH within this range ensures that green onions can efficiently absorb essential nutrients from the soil. In addition to sunlight and soil pH, good air circulation is vital for the health of green onions. Adequate airflow helps prevent the development of fungal diseases such as powdery mildew, which can thrive in humid and stagnant conditions. Choosing a location with good air circulation, such as an open area or a spot with gentle breezes, can help minimize the risk of fungal infections and promote healthy growth. It's essential to avoid planting green onions in areas with compacted or waterlogged soil, as these conditions can lead to root rot and hinder root development. If planting in containers ensure that they have proper drainage holes at the bottom to prevent waterlogging and promote healthy root growth. Consider companion planting green onions with other vegetables like tomatoes or peppers. Companion planting involves growing different plant species in close proximity to benefit from their symbiotic relationships. For example, planting green onions near tomatoes can help deter pests that are repelled by the odor of onions, while the tomatoes provide shade and support for the onions. This practice maximizes space in the garden and promotes a healthy ecosystem, reducing the need for chemical pesticides. Before planting green onions, prepare the soil to provide the best possible growing conditions. Begin by loosening the soil to a depth of about 6 to 8 inches using a garden fork or tiller. Remove any weeds, rocks, or debris from the planting area to reduce competition for nutrients and space. Next, amend the soil with organic matter such as compost or well-aged manure to improve soil structure and fertility. Work the organic matter into the soil thoroughly, ensuring it is evenly distributed throughout the planting area. This will provide essential nutrients for the green onions and promote healthy root development. It's also advisable to perform a soil test to assess the pH level and nutrient content of the soil. Adjust the pH as needed by adding lime to raise the pH or sulfur to lower it, aiming for the optimal range of 6.0 to 7.5 for green onions. Finally, smooth the soil surface with a rake to create a level planting bed. This will make it easier to plant the green onions at the correct depth and spacing, ensuring uniform growth and yield. When planting green onions, it's essential to prepare the soil adequately to provide an optimal growing environment for the plants. Begin by loosening the soil to a depth of about 6 to 8 inches using a garden fork or shovel. This loosening of the soil helps improve drainage and allows the roots of the green onions to penetrate easily. After loosening the soil, incorporate organic matter such as compost or well-aged manure to enrich the soil with nutrients. Organic matter improves soil structure, fertility, and moisture retention, providing a favorable environment for plant growth. Aim to mix in about 2 to 4 inches of organic matter evenly throughout the planting area. Once the soil is prepared, plant the green onion sets or seedlings. If using sets, which are small bulbs or clusters of bulbs, 
plant them about 1 inch deep and 4 to 6 inches apart, in rows spaced 12 to 18 inches apart. If planting seedlings, dig a small hole deep enough to accommodate the roots and place the seedling in the hole, then gently firm the soil around the base of the plant. Ensure that the green onion sets or seedlings are planted at the correct depth, as planting too shallow or too deep can affect their growth. The top of the bulb or root should be level with the soil surface. After planting, water the green onions thoroughly to settle the soil and provide moisture to the roots. Maintain consistent soil moisture throughout the growing season, watering deeply whenever the top inch of soil feels dry to the touch. Once green onions are established, proper care and maintenance are crucial to ensure healthy growth and abundant harvests. Here are some key practices to follow. Green onions require regular watering to maintain consistent soil moisture levels. Water deeply whenever the top inch of soil feels dry to the touch, providing enough moisture to reach the root zone. Avoid overwatering, as soggy soil can lead to rot and other diseases. Applying a layer of organic mulch, such as straw, shredded leaves, or grass clippings around the base of green onions helps conserve soil moisture, suppress weeds, and regulate soil temperature. Mulch also adds organic matter to the soil as it decomposes, enriching the growing environment for the onions. Green onions benefit from periodic fertilization to support healthy growth and development. Apply a balanced fertilizer high in nitrogen every four to six weeks during the growing season, following the manufacturer's instructions for application rates. Alternatively, side dress the onions with compost or well-aged manure to provide a slow release source of nutrients. If green onions are planted too closely together, they may become overcrowded, leading to stunted growth and reduced yields. Thin the onions as needed by removing excess plants to maintain spacing of about 4 to 6 inches between each plant. Use the thinned green onions in culinary dishes or replant them in another location. Monitor green onions regularly for signs of pests, such as onion maggots, thrips, or aphids, and diseases like onion rust or white rot. Control pests through natural methods such as handpicking, insecticidal soap, or neem oil, and manage diseases by practicing crop rotation, improving air circulation, and avoiding overhead watering. Knowing when and how to harvest green onions is essential for enjoying their fresh flavor and crisp texture. Green onions can be harvested at any stage of growth, from small tender shoots to fully mature plants with developed bulbs. For the best flavor and texture, Harvest green onions when the tops are green and upright and the bulbs are firm but not overly large or woody. Avoid waiting too long to harvest as the onions may become tough and pungent. To harvest green onions, grasp the base of the plant near the soil line and gently pull it upward while simultaneously loosening the soil around the roots. Alternatively, use a sharp knife or scissors to cut the onions about an inch above the soil surface. Avoid pulling the onions by the tops as this can damage the plant and reduce regrowth potential. Green onions are a cut and come again crop, meaning you can harvest them multiple times throughout the growing season without killing the plant. When harvesting, leave about an inch of growth above the soil to allow the onions to regrow. With proper care, green onions can provide a continuous harvest for several months. Freshly harvested green onions can be stored in the refrigerator for up to one week. To prolong their freshness, trim the roots and remove any wilted or yellowing leaves before placing the onions in a perforated plastic bag or container. Alternatively, store green onions in a jar of water in the refrigerator, changing the water every few days to maintain freshness. Green onions can also be frozen for long-term storage. Wash and chop the onions into desired lengths, then blanch them in boiling water for one to two minutes before plunging them into ice water to stop the cooking process. Drain the blanched onions thoroughly and pack them into airtight containers or freezer bags. Frozen green onions can be used directly from the freezer in cooked dishes like soups, stews, and stir fries. While green onions are relatively low maintenance plants, they can still be susceptible to certain pests and diseases that may affect their growth and productivity. Here are some common pests and diseases to watch out for when growing green onions. Thrips are tiny, slender insects that feed on the sap of green onion leaves, causing them to appear silvery or discolored. Severe infestations can lead to stunted growth and reduced yields. To control thrips, regularly inspect plants for signs of damage and use insecticidal soap or neem oil as directed. Onion maggots are the larvae of small, grayish flies that lay their eggs near the base of green onion plants. 
The maggots feed on the roots and bulbs of the plants, causing wilting and yellowing of the foliage. To prevent onion maggots, practice crop rotation and use floating row covers to protect plants from adult flies. Fusarium basal rot is a fungal disease that affects the base of green onion plants, causing them to rot and collapse. This disease is often associated with poorly drained soil and warm, humid conditions. To prevent fusarium basal rot, plant green onions in well-drained soil and avoid overwatering. Fungicidal treatments may be necessary in severe cases. Downy mildew is a fungal disease characterized by the appearance of yellow or brown patches on green onion leaves, accompanied by a fuzzy, grayish growth on the undersides of the leaves. Downy mildew thrives in cool, damp conditions and can spread rapidly in crowded plantings. To control downy mildew, space plants adequately to improve air circulation and avoid overhead watering. White rot is a serious fungal disease that affects the roots and bulbs of green onion plants, causing them to become soft, mushy, and foul-smelling. Infected plants may also exhibit yellowing and wilting of the foliage. White rot is difficult to control once established, so prevention is key. Avoid planting green onions in soil that has previously been affected by white rot, and practice good sanitation by removing and destroying infected plants promptly. Planting green onions can be a rewarding and straightforward process, providing you with a fresh and flavorful addition to your culinary endeavors. By following the guidelines outlined in this video, including selecting the right planting location, preparing the soil properly, and caring for your plants throughout their growth cycle, you can enjoy a bountiful harvest of delicious green onions. Remember to monitor for pests and diseases, maintain adequate moisture levels, and harvest your onions at the appropriate time for the best results. With a little patience and attention to detail, you'll soon be enjoying the vibrant green foliage and crisp, flavorful bulbs of your homegrown green onions. Happy gardening!